To err is human and to forgive is divine. Anita Joseph has seen good reasons and needs to apologize to her former bestie, former best friend Uche Elendu. Remember, these two guys were too close. They were besties. They were good friends, doing things together, helping each other to grow. But something came between two of them. Anita Joseph was so angry that she couldn't help it. She couldn't try to help her anger. She was so bitter that she took it to social media to call her friends several names, insulted her, said so many things about Ushi Elendu. Oh my God, that was terrible. Well, thank God she has realized that all what she did was inhuman. All what she did was not good for her best friend. And she has seen reason to apologize. She didn't want to take it beyond this year. She didn't want to start this year with some grudges in her mind. She now said, okay, my friend, please do well to forgive me. To err is human, to forgive is divine. <laughs> it is good to apologize when you have realized that what you did was wrong well my current loving and wonderful people before we go into the apology let us first of all find out what happened let's listen to what happened between these two guys before she is rendering apology to her best friend Ushe Elendo today we'll do this today but i just have to do it because we're getting into 2020 and a lot of things need to stop it is time for the truth i'm only thought for someone some time ago, my best friend came and said, Anita, why did you model someone else's hair? It will look like my hair is not original. You betrayed me. I said, how did I betray you? Am I your ambassador? She said, no. Do I owe you? She said, no. So what is your problem? It really caused a big fight. So I started asking some of my friends and my older friends, I said, Auntie, did I do anything to my best friend because I mother someone else's hair? And she said, it is wrong. They said no. So people, please, I want to ask, did I do anything wrong to Uche? Seriously, because I don't get it. It's only a witch that I wouldn't want you to prosper. You're my best friend. I mother your hair. I freaking buy your hair. I still advertise them for you. You don't pay me for them. I take your lashes, I sell to my makeup artists because I have a lot of makeup artists. I sell to them, even the ones they don't buy. I pay for them. You didn't even know. But when we, when we started having problems, I have to tell you, do not pay for some lashes. Because it, I needed your business to excel, I needed it to, to move to the next level. I bought her close to one million from you. In as much as I was paying you small, small, it doesn't matter. But I bought hair from you. The first time you bought the hair, I bought like 600 for 550 or so. You said you gave me the hair cheaper. Okay, so what? Because I bought a lot. You need to give it to me cheaper. Uche, I bought plenty hair from you. You never gave me one. Not, not even one. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's a lemonade. Not even one. So, I didn't do anything to you. I didn't offer you. You offended me. I advertised your hair even more than you advertise your hair. I do mostly um, hair adverts because I have a good hair to wear them. I do clothes adverts because I have a good body to wear them. I have friends that do business together. They don't fight. But why is your own so different? Why are you fighting with everyone? So, let's stop deceiving the public because when people ask you of me, she's good. I want to ask you. Ask me of you. I said she's fine and all that. No, we're not fine. We're done. Last time we had a, we had an argument. I said, listen, it's 2020 soon. I don't want no lies from you. Don't wish me happy birthday because the things you're gonna write there. My best friend, she prays with me. She's this one. It's a lie. Yes, I used to pray with you, but all the other ones you write, she's this one. Well, no lie. You're lying to the public. Stop deceiving them. We're not. We, we're done. We're done. You put us on You're not a good person. Are you? Did our friendship come with condition? You didn't tell me that your friendship um, um, is with condition. You don't own me. You don't feed me. You don't give me anything. Take me, take me. <laughs> Some women can be so fast in calling other people names. They can be so fast in taking private issues to public. This is a private matter between you and your friend. 
why are you taking it to public for public to do what to see that you're the best person to see that you understand this life better than your friend to see that okay you you're too much you have helped somebody and what is wrong rendering a help to your friend what is wrong helping your friend okay because you have done that and a friend should all be loyal to you shouldn't do anything okay if that friend has done something why can't you approach the, the person and say okay what you did i don't like it it should be this way and not the other way around you took it to social media today you're saying the same platform you use in calling her names is the same platform you, you're using to apologize well the fact remains that once you have dragged your friend taken your friend to that extent calling your friend names insulting your friend making your friend looks as if she is nothing <laughs> Before you can bring back that relationship the way it was originally, it is a difficult thing. You guys can still, she will render an apology. The person in question can say, okay, don't worry, I'm okay, I'm forgiving you, let us continue to be friends. But that bond, that openness, that trust that existed between two of you guys can never be there. That is why it is always good to address issues the way they come and if those issues are privately please also address it privately if those issues does not warrant taking it to public why don't you address it privately and forget about it continue with your friendship well sometimes i ask people what is the essence of taking issues to public why taking your own issues or the issues you have with your friends to social media for social media to do what to advise you or to reconcile for you or to do what or to give you praises or to give you an award <laughs> not be smart no not be smart at all at all but i hope and i pray that uh, ushe elendu should look into the face of her friends she should also remember all what they have done what they have passed through together she should also remember what her friend i'm talking about uh, Anita Joseph, what Anita Joseph have done for her, the contributions she has made to her life, and also remember the God she's serving to forgive her. But even when that is done, that trust, I don't think we are all human beings. The trust can it still be there. My current loving and wonderful people, if you have opinion, if you have what to say about this, please advise us in the comment section. Do you think, do you think after listening to this video, you have heard what happened between these two fine her friend has come out to apologize to say i am sorry for calling you names i call you a witch you are not a witch you are my best friend i love you i missed you please let us come together do you think ushe elendu after accepting the apology can still be open can still have that bond with her again please let us hear your voice in the comment section otherwise thanks so much for watching